In the landscape of America retail, two giants stand out on their own widespread influence and consumer base, Walmart and Target. Both companies have carved out significant niches for within the market, serving millions of customers yearly and offering a wide range of products. However, despite their similarities, Walmart and Target operate under distinctly different business models, cater to different customer demographics, and have diverse corporate strategies that influence their profitability, public perception, and product offerings. This video, we're going to dive in to these aspects, comparing and contrasting Walmart and Target to understand their position in the retail sector of who's better. Walmart, founded by Sam Walton in 1962, has grown to be the world's largest retail chain with a focus on offering the lowest prices possible. It operates a vast number of stores globally, including super centers, discount stores, and grocery stores. Walmart's business model is built on a scale company, leveraging its huge purchasing power to offer consumers a wide range of goods at the lowest possible prices. Meanwhile, Target was established in 1962 also by the Dayton Company, positions itself as a more upscale discount retailer, emphasizing quality, style, and value. While it offers competitive pricing, Target is proud of itself through its focus on design-forward products, a clean and welcoming store layout, and more products that people can select from. Target stores are predominantly located in the United States, and its presence, while significant, is smaller than Walmart's global footprint. When comparing profitability, Walmart consistently outpaces Target due to its larger scale, diverse global presence, and a broader product range. Walmart's revenue and net income have historically surpassed that of Target, by far. Attributed to its expansive number of stores worldwide and a strong e-commerce platform, Walmart's strategy of low prices and thin profit margins combined with its efficiency supply chain allows it to generate significant volumes of sales. Meanwhile, Target, with a smaller in revenue compared to Walmart, has shown robust financial performance with healthy profit margins. Target focuses on higher margin items, exclusive brand deal partnerships, and a successful private label business contributes to its profitability. Additionally, Target has been investing heavily in its online sales platform and supply chain improvements, aiming to enhance customers' experience and operating efficiencies. Public procession of Walmart and Target varies depending on who you talk to. Influenced by corporate policies, customer service experience, and media coverage, Walmart has often faced criticism and negativity press regarding its labor practices, impact on small businesses, and environmental footprint. All which is true. Despite efforts to improve its image through sustainability initiatives and community engagement, Walmart's sheer size makes it a frequent target of criticism and backlash. Target has managed to maintain a more positive image, often praised for its corporate social responsibility efforts, including marketing campaigns and employee-friendly policies. However, it is not out of the woods to all the different controversies having faced its share of negative news, such as data breaches and backlash over certain policy decisions. Overall, though, Target trends to have a more favorable public perception compared to Walmart. More people would like to shop at Target than they do at Walmart. A key point between Walmart and Target lies in their product offerings and store experience. Walmart offers a vast assortment of goods, including groceries, electronics, apparel, and household items, aiming to serve as a one-stop shop for its customers. Its focus is on affordability and convenience, with less emphasis on product 
presentation or store aesthetics. Target, on the other hand, is known for its appealing store layout, emphasis on design, and carefully selected range of products that cater to more affluent demographic. Target collaborates with designers and exclusive brands have been partially successful, creating a distinctive shopping experience that combines style with value, while Target also offers a wide range of products, including groceries in many of its stores. Its selection is generally perceived as a higher quality and a better product or a more trendy than Walmart's. Walmart and Target, while both dominating players in the retail market, cater to different customer base through their unique business models and strategies. Walmart's advantage lies in its vast scale, low prices, and extensive product range, making it highly profitable and accessible to a broad audience. Target, while smaller, distinguishes itself through a focus on quality, design, and more positive public image appealing to customers looking for a value beyond just low prices. As both companies continue to evolve, they both remain committed to the American retail landscape, each serving distinctive needs within the consumer market. So comment below, which store do you prefer? Do you prefer going to Walmart or do you prefer going to Target? And why do you prefer that? Put it in the comments below. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Till next time, y'all stay safe, keep prepping, and I'll catch all of you on the flip side.